So, we are currently investigating the mystery leak of the Babylon Tower. Uh, what we have noticed after a thorough cleaning by the regular himself is that this strange black uh, tin right here is uh, filled with ATF. It's pooling down in there. Now, this seems to only lead to the bell housing area of the transmission. And if the transmission is getting here, it's going to be coming from either the torque converter itself, in which case we could, we could assume that the converter would be wet because there'd be a crack and it would be leaking, and etc., etc. And that's unlikely, and it doesn't seem to be the case. So what we have concluded is that the main seal on the transmission, that's the input shaft where it enters the body of the transmission, must be leaking, because that would fill this whole area with fluid. It would drip down the face of the trans into here and then fall at the bottom. And there's a lot of fluid that passes through there, through the torque converter and back. And that is our current diagnosis on okay. the back of the line. So that leaves us with two options right now. I mean... Uh, I could deal with it for now. That would mean right. this car would be in permanent limp mode. Right. And we would uh, go right to the engine swap. Precisely. Um, we could uh, remove the transmission. Yeah. And when I say we, I mean myself, because you, you're on a road trip uh, uh, back to uh, the West Coast, back to California. I and whoever would be willing to help would take the transmission out and replace the so replace the main seal. Ten part or something. I'll bet, yeah. And I know, right? One, it's small, small, small stuff thing. hiding behind the expensive stuff. And that comes out, and hope that was it, and hope yeah. that was everything. I mean, it's a little more than hope because it, it's there's only so many things that can leak inside the bell housing. But now you fix something, and you're still with a two-speed automatic on an 85 horsepower motor, which you're not at your goal yet. You're right. So it buys you time. It buys us time, and then do I want to put the aluminum radiator in this? How much do I plan on driving this around PA? Because even if, because well, we were driving up that hill, and Dan saw the temperature was holding steady, even during that hill climb. Of course, again, we were still moving, ish, and we didn't get stuck in traffic. How many times will you have three full-size men in your vehicle? I like men. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's another thing to want to be able to use this car it was originally intended because it was made to hold six people imagine six people in this with luggage in the truck back then. Eat the, you know, the <laughs> yeah there's that that's before america <laughs> became what it is now <laughs> transmission out replace that seal get some a proper seal on the pan and then maybe uh Aluminum radiator here, and it could go for a year. Or I immediately start looking for uh, 302s, uh, AOD transmissions, and running gear, and see um, who can help out, or if there's even entertain the idea of companies that want to help out. I mean, that that would be another conversation with this and all the fans. Uh, does RCR have the pull to pull sponsors? I've heard. I mean, we're, we're pushing two hundred thousand subscribers at, at, at this point. I think the would be lucky to... That's that's pretty good. Thanks. That's, <laughs> yeah. my, that's my value. I mean, everybody's going to have eyes on this machine. This is going to be the face of RCR in twenty sixteen, and by that time, you know, I'll be writing more and doing other things, and this car is going to be out and about and seen. So, so no matter what, no matter what we do to this car, you're hearing a cicada. Is that what that is? That's called. They call it a cicada thing in the movies like I was in Oklahoma City and there's things in the bushes making that thing you always hear in the movies the weird noise that must have been what it was that's a cicada it's a, it's a bug about the size of uh well, like half your pinky right all righty so we're gonna figure out what we're gonna go from here the joys of classic motoring right well thank you for everybody who supports us on uh patreon without you this car wouldn't be possible and us to explore what was the ultimate regular car for America and thank you all for liking regular car reviews and thank you, Corbin, for coming along. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good to <laughs> thank, be here. And thank you, Dan. Yep.